Yeah, I wanted to uh, show you what I was working on now. Okay, this uh, last time I left you, I was going to test this part. I still haven't tested it yet. And um, what I want to do is work on this encoder for the rotation on the top here. And uh, work on the encoder for the rotation of the side. So this rotation on the top, what I did was um, I needed to find the center of this. And I can't assume that this is in the center of the rotation of this gear because I made this plate I fasten this plate into this PLA and I really don't know what the actual true position of this plate is in relationship to the outside of this gear which is the rotation axis of the gear the center of the gear is what I'm trying to say so what I did was I, I set this up in the machine and I swept this gear, the, out, the outside of this gear, which is the inside of that piece of aluminum that goes over it because uh, these are the drive dogs for it. And it fits, fits this gear. So I found the, the center. And I made a point, that point right there, little starter drill I put in there. And that's the center of this. So I took it apart and uh, in the process of trying to find a mount, at first I thought, you know, I'll come off these screws here, these four screws, and I'll make some kind of bracket that comes up over and houses that card, that little reader card. And that actually is this guy right here. So this, this is upside down, but what's going to happen is that this is going to go somewhere around here. Let me rotate this over. That's going to go somewhere around there. But then again, remember, this is upside down. This actually goes, goes like this. Goes like that. Now, that the reason is because I want the wires. If I had it going this way, the wires would rotate. If I had this on the upper part of it, the rotation part, these wire, this piece would rotate and these wires would rotate and pretty soon, you know, they'll start going in a little circle and they'll start binding. So I have to have this little reader card on this bottom piece. So it's going to go somewhere around here. So the top, the top plate is flat on this pulley and on this other pulley the top plate is flat on top of there so whatever I put in there I gotta 
make it harder than these pulleys. So I decided to go with something off of this plate coming up between this belt. And I came up with an idea and it's uh it's over here. It's going to be a mount. This be in the front, this be in the back. I got a a cut out here for the pulley. And then the card's going to sit in this little tray on top. So that was kind of like my idea. And of course, it's going to be higher than the plate, so I have to recess the plate that rides on top to make room for the card, because the card's got to be up there. And looking at this, you also have to have room for the wires to go through. So I got a I got an idea, I made a model, and I gotta print it. But the other story is that I took this apart and I came off of that hole and I put two holes in here to mount the little card reader holder. And then when I put it together, I found out that the rest of this isn't in line with that hole. The, everything is, all this stuff on top is shifted over. Let's see if you look at that. You see that outside hole is almost on that belt as to where this outside hole is kind of on the inside of that belt. So everything on this unit is shifted over at 30 second from true position. So I was going to mount it here. Then I decided not to and I put a mount hole in the back. And I put the mounting hole 1 32nd over so it would be between these two belts. Even though it was off center it would still be the center of this piece is going to be in between these two belts so it's going to look centered even though the mounting hole is off 1 32nd. So I'm working on that. I got to like I said I got to print that. And uh Let me put you up here. So like I said, this card is gonna gonna be down there like that. So what I had to do was this piece that fits on top of the aluminum piece. I recessed that for the card to fit into. It's gonna fit into it like that because the magnet's going to be inside that hole so it's going to sit like that and I ordered I ordered some more of these these parts And uh, they had, uh, I was going to order two, and they had a package of five, so I just ordered the five. That way, give me some extra ones because they always seem to take forever to get here. And I had some of these magnets from before, and I ordered more of those. 
Not that I needed them, but you know, they're fun to play with. So, I'll show you how I plan on installing that magnet. Let me see if I can slide this out of the way a little bit. Let's see if I can find the right wrench for this. So I wanted to have some kind of uh, adjustment on it so I could set it like I did the spin indexer. But it'll be, um, I really couldn't come up with a, a concrete idea that was feasible. I mean, I came up with a lot of ideas, but um, there were a lot of negative sides. So I just went with something simple for now. You know, I could always change it up because it, you know, it, it would have to rotate here. And I thought, well, I could put a hole through here and a hole through there and have some kind of adjustment with a screw on both sides so I could adjust it back and forth to rotate it this and that and uh, then I'd have to have some kind of gear for the screw to ride against to make it rotate and this and that and I thought, well that's it's 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 getting over complicated now so I drilled these two holes in here, this being the center hole, I drilled that one too, that's quarter inch. These magnets are uh, 235 diameter. Oh, there it goes. So I just, I had to countersink these because the plate, this plate fits on here. And I can't have anything protrude above this plate. So I just put the two holes in there and the, the quarter inch hole there. And I made this um, little plate. Let me get it off the floor. Everything goes on the floor. So this was uh, just a piece of Delrin two threaded holes on it to mount it now this mounts from the inside then I put a quarter twenty threaded hole in the center and I'm just gonna have it like a little screw and of course you can't use a, a steel screw because the magnet sticks to it and I don't know how that's gonna affect the magnet so you have to have aluminum screw or a plastic screw so I, I got this little plastic screw. I had it from when I was, uh, I got the uh, model airplane stuff out in the garage. Radio controlled airplane stuff. And this was a mounting bolt to mount the wing onto the fuselage. But you can get these plastic screws at Ace Hardware. You can get aluminum screws. So I just cut the head off cut it to length and I put a little screwdriver slot in it with a hacksaw the same thing I used to cut the cut the end off I cut the end flat and I'm gonna epoxy the magnet onto that and I'll just stick it in there and that'll be my adjustment up and down now this is this works out good because these plastic screws are made oversized because um, you don't want them coming loose when your airplane is up in the air so they actually you put a piece of brass in there and then this fits into the brass when you're doing it on the airplane but this will work out good here because like I said they make these oversized and that way it won't rotate up or down so once you set it it'll stay set 
And the other good thing is that once this is installed in here, you can take a screwdriver and stick it through the vise, through the jaws of the vise, and you can rotate it before you put your part on. And you can change the angle if you need to change the angle a little bit or, or re-zero it or set it on a different degree number. Because probably end up indicating, you know, once this unit is set up, you indicate this one side. And that's probably where you want zero to be because everything is, is square to these sides. So your jaws... Are square and your piece will be square so everything will look look good when this is all together so the rotation of it when you set it to zero it'll be zero or zero this way whatever you want to do but anyway that's the that's what I'm working on now I'm trying to get this going and I ordered uh, like I said, I ordered five of these because they came, the Banggood had them on sale or where they had a pack of five and so I bought them. And so that's going to do, that'll set the rotation so I can do the rotation of the table. Now to do it this way, I saw this, um, of course I got the, uh, the little wheel that makes it rotate. But you have to have a way to read that degrees. So I saw this uh, website where this guy had this little gauge, like one of those square gauges. They're about this big. Actually, this is this is the gauge I ordered. Now I'll get you. I'll get that website name. But this is the big screen. Well, I mean, it doesn't look big, but it's big. I mean, it's not that big. I mean, it's really small, but... Anyway, this is the one he recommended. I just got this in. And he's got like a rotary encoder. Well, it's a rotary switch of some sort that goes in the end. It's like... Uh, it goes from zero, it goes like one rotation. And I'll, and, he's, and he shows how to do this, and I'll have to get that to you later. But what I do is I order the, the switch, and I order a switch with a, a quarter inch stub coming off of it. So I, I board this out, quarter inch. So that the the head of that rotary switch could go into this axle, and then I put a little set screw here to lock that rotary switch, and then I got to make a mount. It'll probably be some kind of circular mount that houses that switch. I haven't gotten it yet, so I don't exactly know what it looks like, but I took the side. And I put two holes in here so I can make a mount to go in here to uh, actuate that switch. This is going to come through here. Then that mount is going to be mount that switch here with the, the little piece going in the axle. And I'm going to put a little adjustment here. But uh, that's kind of what I was thinking of. And when I get that rotary switch in, I can finish the mount. And that's kind of where I am now. And I was working on this, uh, this little pin arrangement. These little pieces here, that's, that's the brake that goes on the top. There's a pin that goes through there, 
and I needed to be able to lock that pin and that pin fits in this piece here so what I decided to do was I uh, I took those parts and I, I drilled them out these parts I drill them all the way through 93 thousandths I'm going to put a little spring in there And uh, gonna make a little detent. Got this um, 332nd dowel pin. I'm gonna stick it in there, put the spring in there, and then put a little set screw up here. And then I'm gonna put a little, uh, make a little pin, put a little half moon in it so it'll lock in kind of like a tap handle so I think that'll be the way to go with that so I'll let you know alright bye